Hello and welcome back to my channel Anime Recommendation. Today is the fourth and last part of Best of the Winter Anime 2023. In the first part, I talked about all the isekai anime. In the second part, I talked about all the romance anime and some funny anime. And in the third part, I talked about all the fantasy and spiritual anime of this season. In this last part, I will talk about Rest of the Winter Anime 2023. So, without wasting any time, let's start with Giant Beast of Ours. In this world of ours, human lead a dedicated long war against giant beasts that ravage the lands and feed on their resources. Those tasked with fighting them are champions called Nagimori who utilize the destructive power of Kanagi, beings gifted with uncontrollable magical power. While mourning the death of his war partner, former Nagimori Jiro crosses path with a young woman who has just awakened her magical power. After the pair form a contract to save the city from a giant Giant Beast Zero learns that she has escaped a laboratory and is being hunted by the underlings of the head of the research facility. Reluctantly agrees to help her flee from her pursuits, Zero starts traveling with his new partner and her friend. Next, we have Malevolent Spirits. When a spirit possesses an object of considerable age and gain a physical form, they are called Sukumogami. And Simons are the people who seals the spirits that possess a threat to society. These spirits are generally non-violent and Simons normally seal them after a simple verbal exchange. But Hioma Kunato, the main protagonist of this story, refuses to peaceful methods and gets into physical confrontation with all Sukumogami because he hates them for an incident that happened in the past. Deeming this behavior unacceptable for a future clan leader, Hioma's grandfather proposed that he starts living with Botan Nagatsuki, a young woman whose family is composed of six Sukumogami. Determined to track down the spirit that took everything from him, Huma reluctantly accepts his proposal and start living with them. Now he has to gain the trust of Botan and overcome his hatred for her mysterious family. Next we have a quite funny one called Onimai. I am now your sister. Here the main character Mahiro Oyama was a normal game loving dude until one day when he woke up one morning as a girl. It's all thanks to to his mad scientist little sister Mihari's new experiment on him. Although it was to fix her satin and erotic game loving big brother, but one thing is for sure, life is going to get a whole lot weirder from here on out. Next we have a little itchy one called My Life as Inukai San's Dog. This story follows the protagonist who wakes up one day transformed into a dog on the street who was picked by his cool and beautiful classmate Karin Inukai. Inukai San not not only took him back to her home but also changed her dress in front of him, took baths together and also did some weird things that he could never imagine. Now he has to adjust his new life as a dog and figure out how to get out of this situation. Although this is a very pleasant situation for him. Next we have Nayar Automata version 1.1a. In a world overrun by alien crafted machine life forms, humans are pinning their hopes on a group of man-made androids led by the all-purpose battle android to be. The group will fight to take control of the art back from its invaders. Although it's not as easy as it looks. Next we have Revenger. Tricked into assassinating his own father-in-law Samurai Raizo Kuruma is overwhelmed with guilt. In order to reclaim his honor, he swears to take revenge on the lord who gave him those misleading orders. In his pursuit, he will aided by self-proclaimed merchant of all traders Yui Usoi, who is actually one of the revengers who seek justice. Will they be able to stay alive until they get their revenge? See for yourself. Next we have Spy Classroom. This is a story where some washout spies without any field training were assigned for a impossible mission under the guidance of the greatest spy called Klaus. Although he is a great spy but he is not a great teacher. So it will be difficult to execute the impossible mission. If you like some action and mystery type anime then you can check this out. For the next one, we have The Legend of Heroes, Not Done War. For many years following the North Ambrane disaster, North Ambrane has been known as the poorest region in Zemuria. After the state suffered a major loss due to the mysterious salt pill turning citizens and buildings into salt, the economy has never truly recovered. Out of necessity to secure foreign investment for the state, the former state military has turned into a group of mercenaries 
known as the Northern Jaggers, wishing to join the largest group of mercenaries on the continent. Levy, a promising rookie, enlists with the Northern Jaggers. Although she has only been with them for a half a year, she was capable enough to get a special task to gather information regarding the imperial hero of Erebonia. While gathering information about the hero, Lavi discovers that there may be more to the politics than the ice meat. Next, we have High Card. After discovering that his orphanage was on brink of closing due to financial stress, Finn, who was living freely on the streets, set out for a casino with the aim of making a fortune. However, nothing could have prepared Finn for the nightmare that was hurting him. Once there, Finn encountered a card chase and bloody shootout caused by a man's lucky card. Finn eventually learns that the shootout was about the 52 X playing cards with the power to bestow different superhuman powers and abilities to the ones that possesses them. Whoever possesses these cards, they are called players. There is a secret group of players called High Card who have been directly ordered by the King of Forland to collect the cards that have been scattered throughout the kingdom. Reluctantly, Finn joined the group to find the lost cards and face many dangerous situations. Next, we have a really serious one called Tokyo Revengers Season 2. Here, the male protagonist Takemichi's life is at an all-time low. Just when he thought it couldn't get worse, he finds out that Hinata, his ex-girlfriend, was murdered by the Tokyo Maji Gang, a group of vicious criminals that has been disturbing society's peace for quite some time. Wondering when it all went wrong, Takemichi suddenly finds himself traveling through the time, ending up 12 years in the past. When he was still in a relationship with Hinata. Realizing he has a chance to save her, Takemichi resolves to infiltrate the Tokyo Maji Gang in order to rewrite the future and save Hinata from her tragic fate. Next, we have Bungo Stray Dogs. Season 4. This is a battle action story that centers around some group of people with supernatural powers known as the Gifts. Some uses them for their own greed and desires. On the other hand, there are some people known as the Armed detective agency full of supernatural humans who uses their powers to stop them. Last but not the least, Vinland Saga Season 2. I will be honest, I haven't watched this series yet. But to my knowledge, it's a great story that many people like. It's filled with action, adventure and drama. If you like those type of anime, then make sure to watch this one. With this, I covered all the winter anime 2023 that piqued my interest. If there are any good anime that I missed or haven't talked about, then please tell me and others in the comment section. In my next video, I will talk about all the spring anime 2023 that you must watch. See you in the next video. Until then, sayonara.